Sunday school in TJ's. I hope you guys have a joyful week. Excuse me, excuse me. Yes, Marshmallow. Oh, good things that we pray. So let us pray just like Marshmallow reminded us. Eh? Remember, we close our eyes not because magic happens, but just not to get distracted. Dear Jesus, we thank you so much for this past week. Thank you for the yummy food we had. Thank you for friends that we played with. And thank you, Jesus, that we have the freedom to learn more about you today. Amen. Amen. While uh, Marshmallow is going to get some carrots, I will be teaching you some secrets about obedience. Oh, excuse me. Oh, Spot, it's you, buddy. Come here. Come on here. Hop on. Daddy, something smells funny in our home. Oh, I, I think you're right. What is it? Is it trash? Did you cook fish? Oh, it must be your socks. No, it's not. Oh, it's okay. You don't have to feel bad about it. What's this smell, Miss Natty? It follows me around the house. Not sure how to tell you, buddy, but it's you. Don't be sad. You need to go take a shower and we're gonna solve the problem. But I was playing with Legos. You need to go take a shower. Can I tell you a secret, Miss Natty? What, what is it? I am allergic to water. You need to go take a shower. Water makes me also very, very... Clean, nice smelling, the nose friendly. That's what it's gonna do. You need to go take a shower. Go splash some perfume on me. You need to go take a shower. Shall I smell like sweet vanilla? Fishy vanilla. Cherry blossom. Fishy blossom. You need water. Water makes me uncomfortable. I don't like to look like a wet doggy. I think you're arguing very much with me. This is not good obi- No, you should not be happy about it. You should obey right away. We'll get some help. And there's Sonika. Looking good for me, people. Uh, oh, it's an interesting ride. And the Sonika, let's make a deal. Uh, slow down. Do we really have to do this? Can I give you my tail? I will look like a wet dog now. <laughs> I'm gonna go like. Ah. I need some help around the house. I can help you, Miss Natty. I am in a big hurry. Uh, would you sweep the floor, please? On yes, ma'am. I would enjoy to be at home. So while you sweep, you can practice your whistling, okay? It's not, not very strong. Well, actually, I can't whistle at all. Can you guys whistle? It don't look good. Spotty and the Sonica. I'll put them quickly in the red box. I could go in the water. Aren't they just adorable floating? Guys, you need to swim. It's hard to practice whistling when you are working so hard. What's the horsey doing here? Ah, it's okay. Nobody will notice. Here the carpet goes. I think it's easier. It's okay. We won't tell anyone. I won't tell anyone. It's time to rest a little. I worked so hard. I hope this bump will go down. Can you go water my plants? I think they're a little bit dry. Yes, I'll go. You don't look very happy, but thank you for helping me. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, I mean, don't get too excited, okay? Bye. Bye. You might want to lose the bag so you can put water in it. Oh, okay, when I meant to say lose the bag, I didn't mean toss it in my face, but... Oh, well. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that later. This is too green. This is too fast. These are too many. This one's too tall. I'm too tired. Maybe the plants should water me. No, 
now which one of our little fluffy friends, except Anders Unica is not very fluffy. She's more plasticky, but she don't tell her. Who do you think obeyed right away, all the way, and with a happy heart? Do you think it was Spuddy? Mm. Or Scrapsy? Or Anders Unica? We need to obey right away. It means immediately, right away. All the way, imagine Superman going like that. Woo! All the way, we fly into obedience all the way. And with a joyful heart. It's God's way of obedience. That's our three secrets today. Okay, let's say it together. Everybody, we, we obey, obey right away, away, all the way, way and with a joyful heart. heart. Good job. I will tell you a real story from the Bible about somebody who was not obedient. And the word of God came to Jonah and said, Go to the big city of Nineveh and tell the people they are very mean. God is not happy with their obedience. But Jonah did exactly the opposite. He needed to go to the right. Instead, he went to the left. He went to a port. To get to Nineveh, Jonah didn't need a boat. He bought a ticket anyway. Here's some money, please. And they said, okay, here's your ticket. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Oh, big fish. Ooh, another one. Ooh, a lot of fish. Merrily, 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 merrily. Uh-oh, not so merrily. I think there's a storm, people. The men were so scared, they didn't know what was going on. Ah! These guys are doing some serious screaming. What is Jonah doing? Merrily, 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 merrily. Jonah's having a dream. The captain went and talked to Jonah. How can you sleep, buddy? Get up. Pray to your God. Maybe he will listen to you and we won't go Bye-bye, into the sea. Hey, look at the camera, Jonah. Say cheese. Mm-mm, I'm grumpy when I wake up. And Jonah told them, It's my fault, it's my fault. Just throw me off the boat and you guys will be okay. And they did. But God provided a special big fish. Please don't eat me, I'm not fat free. And the fish went... Yum. And Jonah stayed in the tummy of the fish for three days and three nights. He did some good thinking. And after three days and three nights, the big fish just spit him out. Ouch. My brains hurt. Let's try a more gentle landing. Whoop. Then the word of the Lord came to Jonah a second time. Go to the great city of Nineveh and tell them my message, I am not pleased with them. And Jonah obeyed right away. Oh, excuse me, ma'am, I didn't mean to. Sir, I have a message from Jesus. You and the whole city have been very mean and disobedient to God. Ma'am, you need to say sorry to Jesus. Mr. Baker, make sure to say sorry to Jesus. God loves you and your family. Ma'am, repent. Mr. Policeman, God is not pleased with your justice. You're not doing things right all the time. It took Jonah three whole days to go through the whole city and tell each person the message from God. Even the king heard this message and he was sorry that he was mean in front of God. All that God wanted from these people was obedience, just like he wanted obedience from Jonah. And just like God wants obedience from us. And this is our song verse, Ephesians 6, 1. Let's sing along.
how our parents will applaud our obedience. May we put a smile on their faces this week. And please don't forget to obey right away, all the way and with the joyful, joyful, joyful heart. Joyful, joyful, joyful heart. Till next time, be obedient and joyful. We say bye. people are you okay buddy left him in the shower to scrub a little longer under sonica that's where he belongs i need that tail squeaky clean <laughs> and if you would like to show support please subscribe thank you so much i appreciate you guys